When I was at elementary school, uh, I remember reading a lesson at a church service, uh, which I've never forgotten, and it came from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. And it began with the words, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. And it was an account in Matthew's Gospel um, of what was going to happen when the Day of Judgment came. And the whole of humanity was going to be simply divided uh, between the sheep, um, as it were, who were fine, and the goats who were not fine. Um, and the sheep were going to head to heaven, and the goats were going to head to hell and perdition. And it was a very simple Manichaean division of the world, which terrified me as a boy of eight or nine or ten, as I then was. I could not understand what possible basis there could be for dividing human nature that way, that definitely, with ghastly prospects for those who got on the wrong side of this divide. And I'm bound to say that many years later, I'm still rather taken with the view that I formed at that age. He that is not with me is against me is another version of exactly that view, that the world is very simply and starkly divided. And the Bible offers evidence for those who wish to take that view of the world, the evidence being that which I've just provided, of which there is plenty more. That there is a very simple division in the world between those who are good and Christian and those who are wicked and non-Christian, and the first lot are the privileged people who will head to heaven, and the second lot are the damned who will head to hell. And that's the way to understand the world. He that is not with me is against me. Well, that seems to me, I'm bound to say, to be a deeply oversimplified view of the complexities of the human condition, even if one uh, signs up for the Christian religion. And of course, what's also interesting is that's not the only way in which humankind is advised to behave in the pages of the Gospel. There is also the notion of kindness to strangers. There is the notion of loving thy neighbour. There is the notion of turning the other cheek. There is the sense that we do owe it to others to do unto them as we would wish they did unto us. And it's rather interesting that the New Testament is shot through with that tension as to how one should behave on the basis of signing up for Christian belief.